are live. Let me refresh. Make sure we're good to go. And you can see us and hear us. Make sure there's no echo. Make sure everything is good. We are set. We're good to go. Uh, let me see who's here. Mr. K Gamer, Kevin Montes, Omar, Swoopman, Rock the Kicks. Uh, let me see. Kevin, is there any other retail arbitrage groups on Facebook besides Ross and Marshall's finds? And I'm not sure on groups, but we're going to have to find new stores if you haven't mixed up your sourcing already. This, this is going to be the, the driest show we've seen. Lackluster tags. Lackluster finds. Brian says, uh, sourcing was a little bit better today. Still grabbing some jackets. Many fresh. What's up? Looking at three legs. Big money mo. Sue Huskins. Mamo dog. Hustle and silence. That's what I like to see. The plug. Petty deals. Pacers. Vintage profit. Chris. And M-K-K-M-A-N-E-Z. One kick finder, Hire Rams fan. Price of Assassins. Uh, let me see. Astro Drip. Giovanni. Trey. Uh, let me see. Nick. Josh Brown. D-Bay. Uh, Broadway B. Rory Matt. And A. Will. Uh, Miles, CNJ Enterprises, uh, Javi41, Omar, Josh Brown, Austin, Keystone, Daniel. I'm stocked up and ready. Dry stores don't phase me. Big money mo. Big money mo. There we go. Uh, fly kicks. More people coming in. Ku kicks. What up? We'll talk about Ku kicks right now. All right. Let's start off with. The slideshow football tomorrow. Cowboys start tomorrow. Bucks. Yes, sir. NBC Thursday. Um, this is kind of like one of those things that if you have capital, you can gamble in your area. Put all the money you want on the Bucks this game. <laughs> Uh, this is probably going to be the easiest double wow. if you want money. Is it double? Is it? Are the odds like equal? Well, no, you have to put in quite a bit of money if you want to go straight up. But wow. if you want to add points, you you can make more money that way. But uh, <laughs> I can't even I can't even gamble in my area. I'd have to go to New Mexico and drive a little bit. Rosh oh, Allington, what up? Allowed? What's up? Texas not allowed. No. Oh. I know. It's sad. There you go. Uh, no Jake today? No. We'll, we'll talk about him a little bit. Uh, let me go back up and see. I don't have cable. Football finally back. Uh, what Funkos are behind the B? You can't tell. Um, I do have the uh, Space Jam and uh, the Jungle Book. Mm. There we go. You can cross the border and gamble. <laughs> Uh, sneaker pickers, what's up? Prayer, uh, player props, where it's at. Price Assassins. Uh, let me see. Good, they're good Christians in Texas. Yo, Drip Emporium. See, I'm just glad football's back. And remember, Sunday, Battle of Alabama quarterbacks. Tua against Mac. We'll see how that goes. Speaking of Jake, uh, if you want to catch that video... Who kick shows up, B shows up. If you wanted to know where Jake has been, you can watch that video. Uh, pretty good comments in here, too. And uh, Dapper Fanatic, let's see. Glad to have you back, Jake. Don't be a stranger. Algorithms want you to pump out consistent content to get those impressions. But we understand it takes man hours and real effort to do the editing you do. And... Let me see. Kevin says, I'm pretty sure the view drops and all that stuff occurred during the name change. So a lot of people were not feeling the real Jake or J-A-K-E or White Cheddar or whatever name he was going to go with. <laughs> um, 
And so uh, some other people were saying, hey, you want the impressions? You got to keep pumping out videos every week if you yep. want to see those numbers. And I so, agree. It's just like listing, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, very, very true. So here's the thing, though. If if he's not feeling it, he's not feeling it. If it feels like work and he's stressed, no need to force it. So yep. we'll see what he decides to do. Yeah, it's either you quit hard or you start hard or keep going hard. You gotta go hard in the paint. Hustle and muscle. What up? Uh, Dish your deals. Gentlemen, good evening. Uh, Pacers, Watson, Watson still going to your Dolphins. No. Uh, what did happen to Jake? Quick answer. Uh, he's still alive and well. He's just not making videos. All right. Let's go to the updates. Sneaker updates. Everything as far as we can see pushed back. Whether it's Shattered Backboard, these uh, fives, or the Off-Whites, or the Billy Eilish, or the Fragments, Sakai, or whatever off-white, everything pushed back. Hmm. So we've clearly seen Nike dry, Ross dry, stores are dry, and here's more evidence of that. Even some of the newer releases, not having it. Um, let's see, maybe post a video every time he gets a fade <laughs> for Jake. Um, hit a store, pick up the Jordan 5s, pick up Friday. Someone call Marcus Jordan. This is unacceptable. Uh, anything he can do at this point, I don't know. Has to do with shipments. And we've seen it. Bad. Uh, some stores haven't even got the fours in, says A.N. That's true. So very true there. Um, Mr. Eric, what up? Uh, see, we miss Chase. EZ. If you got merch, this is going to be Christmas to remember. Price Assassins. Yes, sir. We back to being the Rifters. Astro Drip. <laughs> uh, everything is in shipping container offshore. They can push the Jordan 15s back to never. There's a 15s on there. Uh, so, I don't know. It's going to get crazy. Let's see what's going on. Remember, there's, I mean, there's different opportunities Right. We've talked about online through Nike, through Finish Line, through Hibbit, through other sites. Mercari, flip on eBay. eBay, flip on Goat. Mm -hmm. Back and forth. You can do that. Thrifting, of course, is there. Our regular stores are there, but they're dry. Um, so there's different options out there. Uh, but yeah, it's probably definitely the driest we have seen it. But for those that have stocked up, um, like Price Assassin said, it's gonna get crazy out there for Christmas time. All right, let me see. I'm just here to listen to Ken Roastful's buying Iversons. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to the next. Uh, so they are bringing back the Ooh. Jordan 11 Low IE bread. So, so are you a fan of the IEs? No, but the <laughs> colorway is clean. Oh, okay. I mean, I, know, I could wear my dad outfit with this. <laughs> 170, though? Oh, <laughs> wow. I thought it was 150. Uh, the inflation. Come on. It's clean, though. It's clean. I mean, yeah, it's clean, but. It is, see, this is how they should do it milky bottoms, not like blue tint bottoms. <laughs> uh, but, you know, uh, Man, 170 though. I know. I, I think it's a lot more than my ones. <laughs> this is supposed to come out in a week or so. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, 170. We need a 11 low so, bread again. Like, they haven't even hit stores yet. <laughs> so that means like that's going to be delayed again. Yeah, I could get delayed. I could see that. But is anybody really waiting for this shoe? Like, man, I'm really no waiting for one, this drop. They never really built up the hype anyway. Right? Yeah. We haven't really heard about this thing. Yeah, exactly. Uh, let's go to the next one. So you probably saw it on IG. Everyone's posting. Travis Scott, Air Max One. How do we feel in the chat? The chat will tell us 
and see the uh, the real comments. What do we think? Would you I mean, rather? They look like fakes because like the cut of the toe box. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah the toe what was that? It is uh, kind of a weird shape to it. Guard the toe guard something like that. Yeah. It looks like ACG. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, true. They're like or ISBA kind of vibe. Let's see, like, nah, nope, thumbs down. Brian, flip them. These are nice. So we know we want to flip, but I want to see who wants to rock them. Like, who is like, man, this is the best Air Max one I've ever Yo, seen. Yo, if I ever become a nature hiker, I'd rock this. <laughs> uh, not bad. Resell for sure, though. Fire. Fire but ugly laces. Big dookie. And then the swoosh, whatever happened, like, they used, like, giant swoosh in the one. And then on the Air Max one, they used, like, the smallest possible swoosh. <laughs> That's true. It's <laughs> they tiny. Look, like, stuck on there, like, like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, lace swap for sure. Fire because it looked different. Good yeah, lace, lace, execution. lace swap the pink. So Travis got. <laughs> nope. Sue Huskins. And that's about it. So, yeah, flipping, we know. Rocking them doesn't look like anyone's really impressed. All right. I saw this posted on uh, Facebook. It says, what makes you happy? And they posted these four stores. More like makes me sad. <laughs> I know. And so to regular customers, I was like, what are they, how do they feel about these stores? Hmm. Not resellers. Um, so I want to see what the comments said. Here's some of the comments. Oh, whoops. I got to delete it on there. Here we go. Uh, Maria asks, never been to Didi's. Is it any good? Gio says, no. <laughs> <laughs> Bryce says, uh, the best Burlington isn't even on here. Mm. Uh, it says, none. These stores give me anxiety. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe you go late at night picking up stuff off the floor from Ross. You can definitely see that. Pete says, I love any double Ds, but TJ Maxx. I think he's talking about different double Ds. I mean, he's a fan of some double Ds, which I can't argue with Pete over here, but that's a different story. And my boy Juan says, Marshall's hands down, where all the hot girls go. Uh, oh. Juan. Yeah. They feel like they're lubed up. So this boy knows exactly what he's talking about. So there was a comment in case you wanted to see what a uh, regular – regular people feel uh pete needs some milk says <laughs> big bunny mo um what no burlington i know i don't know how dd's even got on here yeah I ross, know, ross right? has paid this post yeah yeah that's ross <laughs> and dj max company <laughs> pete wilden let's see ross got all the thotties an <laughs> oh man uh let me see stores are still packed with normal customers dude today Ross line was in. I thought it was like Christmas. Christmas. Time. Yeah, it curled all the way, almost at the back. I was like, "Are you kidding me right now? What are they buying? Quit buying mirrors. You can buy that anytime. <laughs> Quit buying mirrors. <laughs> line still out the doors. District deals. Uh, TJ Home Goods collab always popping. Uh, TJ Max paid to be on that meme. <laughs> Yeah, how'd they get on there? All right, let me see. Well, the only people they are missing is the resellers. TJ had one cashier, 30 people in line. Yeah, TJ Max is the worst. Uh, let me see. I went to Ross, haven't in a long time. Caught up with security. He said, I heard we we're going to get more Nike Air Adapt, but don't buy them all. Please leave me a pair. <laughs> yeah, right. They love buying towels, too. That's true. <laughs> towels, yeah. Towels. They go just, people go to towels. Yeah. All right. How are your sales? So sourcing might be trash, but how are your sales? We are in September. Uh, we also got the news that unemployment ended. You know, all the benefits ended on Labor Day. Is that... Did they do that on purpose or uh... <laughs> go back to work, go back to doing <laughs> labor. So how is that going to affect people with money? What are they going to spend their money on? Yeah. Uh, let's see what the chat says. 
Uh, let me see. Goat has been amazing. Sales are slow. Goat is up. Miles. Uh, Abnet, not bad. Let's see. First five days of September, trash. Last five days, solid. eBay Mercari, doing great. Um, I definitely see Mercari doing a lot better um, than before. So I think a lot of people are looking into that. Uh, let me see. eBay doing good for me. Liberty was lit. Big money mo. Go is up for me too. Like on three legs. Let me see. What one kick finder got Vero and suspended for seven oh. days. What is what the story behind do? it? We need you to know. One kick finder. PSG. Onesies. Oh. It was onesies. Velcro. 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 Let me see. Let's see what one kick finder says. Goat is awesome. eBay good except today. My listings less than a hundred. Poshmark by far the worst platform. <laughs> Says Pacers. Uh, let me see. Mercari eBay doing well. Uh, with people hopefully going back to work, there should be less bodies when sourcing. <laughs> yeah, right now everyone's out there. Well, we'll see once NFL starts. Uh, let me see. No soccer cleats. Go in more consistent. Um. Let's see. No soccer cleats. One kick finder. Uh, we didn't see one kick finder. What he says. Why he got suspended. Uh, we'll 12 see. Twelve items of what? He said twelve items. Okay, we'll wait around for that. Two thousand twenty-one fall seller update for eBay today. I did see that. Yeah. Did you guys read it? I probably should have read it. I don't know. StockX is not X. StockX might have to start switching into some different. They I saw they added like, did they add video games or other electronics? Yeah, I think it? they're killing the uh, they're killing the uh, PlayStation game or something. Something they added, I think other toys or figures. Uh, they're selling horse paste now too. Like whatever you need to get through this thing, StockX okay. is. He got Vero because Nike, 12 soccer cleats. Was that like, did you sell it on a a bulk uh, or a lot? Hmm. hmm. That's interesting. Stock eggs will be like Amazon. They're going to try. They got a long way to go. Yep. I'm going to see well, a low bids hitting for me. They got the undercutting going. <laughs> yeah, that they do have. <laughs> uh, stock eggs have been good for some retros. Go for a lot more on StockX versus eBay. Uh, StockX is only good for lows and mids. It sells for a lot. Um, StockX wouldn't be that bad to you know pick up to resell on other platforms if it wasn't for so many damn fees as buyer or a seller. It's like damn man, like give us yep. a break here. Yep. StockX is trash, says Miles. All right, I'm gonna skip through this. Weekend releases. And Air Max BW Persian Violet. Remember when this was? At, I think this at Marshalls for what two years oh, ago. Oh yeah, they it was. I was like, wait, like again? <laughs> yeah, it's like we've seen this, and we didn't pay one thirty for it either. Even when Marshalls did have it, some of us probably didn't pick this up. No. Anyway, they're coming back out. Um, underrated, as they say, the nineteen ninety one Runner returns true to OG form. Uh, let me see what. The uh, chat says, uh, eBay needs more auth uh, authorization centers. Very true. Um, let's see. Don't use Velcro. That's eBay 101, Mr. Eric. Let me see. The f uh, that is fire. That color is fire. I'm telling you now, buy StockX year one after they go public. They go Austin. <laughs> they go public. Yeah, Next, Air Force One Animal Pack. This is what we're down to. So not only are the new release, uh, the stores dry, new Can releases. Internal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. New releases are also uh, giving you guys a week off because they haven't even gotten fours yet, as we clearly saw. So they're probably like, you know what? Take a break. Enjoy football. Don't even stress about new releases. Um. Let me see. Crane color scheme. Dressed in white leather upper. Black tongue. Gray new buck swoosh. Red tag. Other one is a turtle. Olive green. And a small turtle can be seen. 
<laughs> that's the that's what they give us. Hard pass. <laughs> yeah, a small ass turtle on the side. So we got that. Next. Levi's New Balance. 220. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rock one of these? I mean, they probably just bumped up the pricing just to get it to the stores or something. They had <laughs> some expedited cost there or something. Something was going on there. Uh, let's see. New Balance uh, joins the forces with Levi's once again. Denim variations. Uh, so two colorways, gray and blue. You uh, crafted using cow suede and denim underlays. Let's see. Hard pass for that cost. New Balance coming up. Uh, New Balance smoking crack. That's with the Thursday, September 9th. Next, Hirachi Toadstool. <laughs> 120. <laughs> All right. Oh, what are you going to say? <laughs> it's like toad poop. But, what is what's going on here? It's like. Um, so, Retro says 2021 with Toadstool colorway dropping this Friday. <laughs> Stool is another word of poop. <laughs> <laughs> Man, come on, bro. Uh, come this is perfect on, for upcoming man. weather, fall weather. Toadstool. No, nope. Nah. Most random name. Dookies. Toadstool or toilet. Man, bad name for the shoe. Well, this is what they're giving us. Uh, there's a pretty cool Presto. More Prestos have been coming out. I've been seeing that. So that might be the only shoe people are going to be buying for the holiday season because there's nothing else. And no one's going to buy KDs. So <laughs> um, next, <laughs> Air Max 90 Sand Drift. You think it's a clean shoe or? Yeah, too light. It looks yellow. I, I think it's a clean shoe. 140 Saturday or Friday, sorry. And Sand Drift makeup, tan canvas upper. Tonal suede overlays, brown mudguard. That's it. Can't pay someone to take them. Um, let me see. You guys talk about the undefeated dunks that came out today. We did not talk about them, but I know some people hit. So who hit in the chat? I know Brian. We didn't even know about them. Brian did hit. I think he said a size 10. Anybody else hit? Uh, let me see. Easy colors, different shades of dirt. Hustle Crow. Uh, let me see. I'll pay 50 for these. Man. I don't know if you're seeing this. Oh. Maximo. Maximo, I wore my Kobe 6 today just for you. Oh. Invest, reinvest. Make the money work for you. Keep that consistently hacks Q and B. Glad Jake is good, as always. And uh, always watching the replay. Keep trucking oh, wow. and shoe investing. Man, Whoa. Maximo. Man, there, there goes another one, another meal. I got to have a whiteboard back here now. Yeah, this is <laughs> this is insane of how much, how many meals B is going to get. Might be like a whole feed them for a whole year, 2022. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 2022, all trips paid for. <laughs> <laughs> Maximo doing it big. Uh, let me go back up and see. Uh, Maximo. Let's see. Big Money Greystone. Stock X2 Taxing. Uh, yeah, Maximo 50 minus 50 today, Mr. Eric. <laughs> hey, Mr. Eric, you want to add on to this? Yeah, Mr. Eric, come on now. Come on. <laughs> come on, now, Mr. Eric. I wish these were 90 bucks. Don't get left out. All right, next. Look, they're still getting, they're still pumping these out. Would you rock them to ball? Are they even really for basketball? They are high top basketball shoe. Hey, they kind of look like LeBron's. LeBron ten. <laughs> uh, Rashard, here we go. Big money, Maximo. Got to change his name. Oh, big money. Let's go, Giovanni. What two fifty? Yes, two fifty for these on Friday. Uh, let me go see what else. I think that might have been it. Yeah, that's it. 
for the weekend <laughs> releases. So enjoy football. Don't don't worry about any of this. Uh, power rankings last week. It was sad. Uh, Ross number one by default. We gave them two, which was still a little high. Um, this week, definitely going to see them change. They are definitely going down. Uh, so let's get into it. Burlington, one star. Nike boot, 70 bucks. I'll pass. So I need to know in the chat, have you been passing? Would you pass? Or are you picking them up? Smash or pass on Nike boots, 70 bucks. That ranking is depressing. It's about to get worse. Need better lighting in here. Oh, there you go. Bees disappearing. Anybody picking up boots? I haven't even seen boots, much less. Uh, I've seen a ton of the black ones. Says Pacers. Pass all day. Says Steven. Been passing. Pass. Pass. I've had those boots for yearly one year already. Dapper fanatic. All right. Next. Ron23 sells. Fire Lane store. They're not happy. New Balance. It's funny because Fire Lane store. New Balance at 70 bucks. They're smoking crack. Ron23 sells. This is... Um, I mean, this is 20 bucks more. Almost at $90. So if you think they're smoking crack at 70, what's going on at $90? Uh, let me see what the chat says, but this is where we're at. I'm getting desperate. Might have to start picking them up. Lucky on three legs. Burlington giving me a hernia. Uh, let me see. Taxing. Did you see this, B? What? Man. New New Balance at 70, and then they even went up to 90 bucks here. Man, that is wild. That's when you know they're struggling for inventory, when they got to raise up the prices and be like, man, we just need to fill up these racks with a name brand that's not RBX or Nautica or... Man, they, they probably bought it from Nordstrom Rack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me see. They must know New Balance worth money. Pass, taxing, bruh. Yeah, this is this is insane. This is where we're at right now, mm -hmm. bruh. Burlington, keep going. Uh, some of the Nipsey Hustle finds thirty dollars. Puma jacket, radio out here. Engineer twenty three, I believe, and the poncho. Maximum twenty three hundred. Bay uh, also got a couple of these jackets, high end jackets, ninety bucks, I believe. They're not going to be giving them away like Ross. You got to pay up. This is Burlington Coat Factory. They invented coats. They thrive on coats. So you got to pay 100 bucks with tax and everything for these. Let's see what the chat says. Glad I passed. Found some Air Force One, 60 bucks. Today is my first day at school. Middle M. Nice. How was school? I'd love to grab some uh, Nipsey Puma gear. Glad I passed. That is it. Next. Nike Factory Store. Sakai Hoodie. Sourcing code. I think picked up like four of them. At least some good money there. Mm -hmm. Someone's been making good money on something. Richard And Bay Area Mike. A couple of jerseys. Curry. LeBron. Vapor Max. Uh, even some threes in there. So somebody's getting something. Uh, let me see. This is an old people community only. Astro Drip. <laughs> 40 and over. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, what up? Let's see. Rock Aware making a comeback. <laughs> Next. That was it. Marshalls. One and a half. Little this, little that. This is what a men's section looks like. It's been like this for six months. Puma, Levi's, Nautica, Nautica, Levi's. There's one Adidas box there. Sketchers. Uh, and that is it. Now, this is the one by my house. This is what it looks like. like <laughs> one, one that's aisle. Like, that's like, that's all our marshals right now. <laughs> We have another Marshalls where they just took out men's section, period. So, man, no men's shoes. 
Uh, that's a busy men's section. <laughs> that's a stepper fanatic. I'm um, Marshall slowly getting rid of men's shoes. I gotta finish some homework after this. Select goods. Marshall's been trash. Uh, 14 resellers chasing some dunks at my Nike clearance. 50 bucks. Walked in, walked out. Wow. Marshall's is cooked. Marshall's doesn't even have a men's section now. Man. So Marshall's Project Rock, 40 bucks, 110 retail on the jacket. And more polos showing up. Most Closet, Ron 23 Sells, Fire Lane Store. And more polo. Justified Creations Boutique sold one for 175 on eBay. So there we go. There's something. I'll stuff on the pants. Dapper Fanatic Cowboys jerseys. How did this happen? Hmm. 30 bucks. 2020 Smith Cowboys jerseys with the 60th anniversary patch on there. Sewn. Retail 170. 30 bucks. So just FYI, he switched his number. He's now number nine. So no, no, no more number 54. So I guess that's why they have him at Marshall's. Anybody watch, uh, what was it, on HBO? Oh, Hard Knocks? Yeah, I heard it was boring I, as hell with Cowboys. Really? I, I started the first episode, and it never really hooked me to watch <laughs> so, Yeah, I, I heard they're a pretty right. boring team. Yeah. Uh, sorry yeah, through my inventory and listening. Especially because, like, Zach and um, Dak are, like, best friends. So mm. cheesy. <laughs> Uh, see what up everybody mile high hustle marshall's had some done issue two, 30 bucks mamo dog um let's see and then go back up and see you were right lackluster finds marshall's has fallen off can they recover i don't know i don't think so marshall's is cooked what's up clam have you seen malice at the palace doc yeah it was awesome the wife loved it i loved it Oh, I haven't even seen that. I'm probably yeah, you gotta watch it. it. Hard knocks? Nope. Those Smith jerseys are everywhere. It's just too legit. Um, all right. More polo. Derby City. Moe's Closet. Classic City Thrips. Derby City again. This is pretty dope. Uh, one thirty though is the Marshall's price on that jacket. Trend. The polo uh -huh. hoodies. Yeah. And Marshall's doing whatever they can at this point. All right, Ross, 1.75. And I was being very generous with this. But, Richard, you get your own slide. I mean, anything yeah, dolphins. Five for the dolphins. Any the dolphins. Dude, I've never seen more dolphins finds than ever. Now that's dry, dolphins are shiny. <laughs> <laughs> so you're pretty much saying you got to choose between Dolphins hoodie and a uh, Bengals Joey B jersey. Mm -hmm. That's the only things you're going to find. Or a Reebok jersey from Marshall. <laughs> Prices went up. Might be because of Labor Day week. Dolphins going down. Go well, hunting all oh, sneaker pickers. Wrong? I don't know. I'm not even going to read that comment. Uh, no shoe finds anywhere. Just apparel price assassins. Anyone else holding new with box items? Ain't taking any offers. Mr. Eric. Yes, sir. I'm holding on retros. Just not. I just did not want to do anything. Well, what's the what's the rule be on retros? A year? Two years? A year at least. Okay, if, a year. If you want to make good ROI, um, hold for a year. And that's why, you know, it's really not feasible if you want high ROI, faster flip. Because, man, a year's, you know, in the, in the reselling world, a year is a long wait. It's a long hold. You know, where you could buy a jacket for 20 bucks and flip it, you know, within 30 days and double your money. So, you know, it's really how you want to do business. But, you know, there are other Jordan 1 mid seller there that, you know, sell 100 pairs for you know 10 15 dollar profit and they're okay with it so you know we're just that we're just not that kind of businessman so 
we'll leave it to them. Yeah, I just want I just want to sell the clothing. Buy all clothing. <laughs> um, Dapper Fanatic on the Iversons. See, there's the Iversons. Seventy dollars. Uh, there's <laughs> seventy bucks. Uh, we were mean, making fun of people buying it for fifty. I know. Now we're at seventy. Uh, let me see. Holding on to a lot of new with box till Christmas time. Anything new with box right now that has a swoosh on it, <laughs> you hold on to dear life. <laughs> Even Janowski's. <laughs> what is? Uh, Lions, Chargers, Maximum Twenty Three Hundred, Fire Lane Store, Nomad Expert, Doc Martin, sixty bucks. Jim Minaj, Ugg Boots, fifty. JT resells soles and stitches. We got Under Armour Auburn, fifty uh, forty five dollars size twelve. We got Project Rock. Some of the hoodies, Funky Finds, Cali Reseller, Maximum twenty three hundred. Pretty interesting. Hurley, Nike, Dry Fit, USA Olympic pants. Oh wow. <laughs> And McLovin out here with the Nike zip up. How are the Ugg boots doing, says Nick. It's a good question. Anybody in the chat had found them? Pick them up, sold them. I want to know. Derby City, North Carolina, Jordan Brand. Nice little hoodie right there. Brian. And size small on the Jordan jacket. Sin City Hustlers did find Fragment hoodie. Nice. Or, uh, not hoodie, but a uh, sweatshirt, two of them, $25. Wow, that's a great deal. Yeah, that's interesting. So anybody else trying to find these out there? Good sizes, too, and XL. Next, Fire Lane Store, Camo Pants, two of them, $21. That's what I like to see. KS Reselling, two of the – would you rock this? Oh, when it's minus 10 degrees outside, yeah. <laughs> KS Reselling and Brian. Some of the best, some of the jackets and Project Rock. Let's see, you went extra small. Never go extra small in Chamorro. Man, at this point, <laughs> <it's>... <laughs> I'm going to be like converting it to women's sizing. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. You know what's kind of crazy is like maybe three years ago, you would kind of question 2x oh yeah now i mean it's like man after pandemic (laughs) dude 2x is flying yeah all the large all the xl people after the pandemic became xl (laughs) XL. (laughs) yeah it is flying like 2x is hard to keep in stock yeah i mean for real though for real Yes, sir. I'm not lying. Not we're kind of joking, but we're not joking. XL is a new XL. Yeah, oh, yeah, for sure. Um, next, Brian again got the jacket size large, thirty bucks. Done Alpha cleat, and Ross Guru with the LeBron jackets, and also uh, more of these zip ups. Some of the standard fit, yeah, standard fit, black and silver. Uh, 2x is fire facts there we go nick yeah big sizes and big shoe sizes a couple years ago wasn't it yeah remember even retros what was selling eight and a half nine nine and a half like b sizes nine and a half mm-hmm. now he now gets way better deals like the cheapest ones yeah now, now 11 through 13 are 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 the ones that are way higher no everything changed yep 2XL Nike pants sell within 30 days for me. Most often 100% ROI. Yes, sir. So, so should we get like size 16 now? Is that it? <laughs> Is it about that time? <laughs> hey, <laughs> here's the thing. Their shirt sizes and waistline grew, but not their foot size. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is... Um, even the size 15, 16, 17 Nike, you can't even find anymore. Look at <laughs> Ross isn't even getting that. So you're kind of now we're pushing it. Uh, size 14 cleats flying too. There we go. Select goods. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, let me see. Little people grew up. Now they're paying for a bigger size. <laughs> uh, 12 and a half used to be trash size. Now everybody wants 12 and a half. Mile high. And tricycle deals, rapid find, soles and stitches, coming to America, Giannis, $25, retail $120, more polo out there, polo bear, polo everything, Don Alpha cleat, tricycle deal, soles and stitches, polo skull jacket, some people said they didn't believe in this one behind, 90 bucks, smash or pass, if you have seen this, you picked it up, you left it behind, I want to know. I want to see what the chat says. Man, look at that polo on the bottom right. Oh, yeah. So, Why? Wind Horse Utility Patchwork Blazer. Man, I need that. Oh, Give me a man. medium. Give me a medium. That one's a size small, I believe. Uh, so, people are saying pass on the skull one at 90 bucks. I just found the skull an hour ago. There you go, Richard. That polo is fire, intramorph. I like that blazer, a will. Uh, let me see. We'll wait until more people come in and see what they say or see what they are. They passing on this one? They're picking it up. Uh, let's see. Um, anything else after that? Oh, yeah, that's it. This is what we're down to, ladies and gentlemen. Man, 40 minutes, we're done. <laughs> Four, that was the quickest 40 minutes, 40 minutes, and we're done. Uh, Ross. Somehow, some way, one and a half. Marshalls, just because of polo stuff. Burlington, man. And Nike Factory Store, no one really tagged us anything else, but I'm pretty sure there's something else out there. Where's Baker Brand? Yeah, even Baker like Brand. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> there he is. Oh, yeah, Baker Brand. Yeah, man, this is bad. That is yeah. painful. Hit that like button to just cheer us up. <laughs> yeah, hit that like button. Cheer us up a little bit. Uh, let's see. This is bad. Laugh out loud. Sad. Pain no gold stars, man. Gross. Price is disgusting. We'll make it up with a giveaway. Oh, what are you giving away now? Oh, we're keeping it the same. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to give away uh, something awesome? Oh, this guy's trying to give away retros or something? No. Yeah, yeah. Let's, yeah. <laughs> we, we didn't. We, we didn't get like two hundred likes. If it was two hundred likes, it'd be totally retros. <laughs> Giveaway. How many are listed on eBay? <laughs> yeah, People dude. are picking it up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not lying. I mean, people are picking them up. I mean, who's telling this people? <laughs> <laughs> I just need a number. Don't even have to spell it out. Just give me the number. How many are listed on eBay? And we'll go from there. These numbers are going to come in quick. I found out that this way, looking at the other through actual uh, st uh, stream yard goes more control over the comments because sometimes they just fly. Uh, all right, let me go back and see. Intramorph, you're like right there. A few over. Uh, Maximum out here trying to get his part of his money back on this <laughs> giveaway. Uh, Funky finds you are over, but not by a lot. Um, keep going down. Let me see who's close. Nick, you are 30-something or maybe less from that. You're very close. Yarslav, what's up? BKK, you're seven over. And we're getting there. No one yet. Keep checking. No one yet. Loading, you're very close. You are over, but you're you're there. You're in the realm. You're in the area. Okay, more coming in. I mean, we gotta milk like sixteen more minutes. So, <laughs> Look <at> that out. <laughs> take your time. I mean, uh, too legit. You're four over. Okay, someone got it. 
Let me verify. Let me make sure. Trap Al Bundy was very close. Trap Al Bundy may have gotten it. Oh no. BKK beat him. Let me make sure. Anybody beat him? And I'm checking, verifying. Nope. Our boy, Brent. BKK of one. Correct answer was 203. 203 listings on the Iverson Minions? Man. Minions. $70, so do what we can. All right. I knew we were going to have some extra time. All right. What so I was like, what's going on this exact week two years ago? Now, they're a little blurry because I had to screenshot it from the video. Okay. Uh, so exactly this week, two years ago, this is what it was out there. Wow. Team USA, Nike. Like, what are these are selling at now? Who still has one of these? Man, you should have kept one, whoever got found or found this. Yeah. Were, they, what, were they 50 bucks, right? Uh, anybody remember the price? I can't even I think see. The big they... ones were like fifty. Were they? Maybe. I think the smaller ones. I don't know. Maybe eighty for big and fifty for small. Uh, let me see. Maybe... I never found them. Uh, I sold plenty of them, says Kent. All right. Let me hold on. Get out of this. Man. <laughs> well, I just oh, typed in luggage. I don't know. Maybe I should type uh, a That's it. That's it. <laughs> Everybody's priced high. Let's see what the solds look like. How many have sold? I don't know. Let's see. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I pressed sold. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh 14? Man. Uh, these look a little bit different, no? Oh, that one's the same uh, one? 250? Yeah. 250 240 yeah. uh, people still voting says Giovanni <laughs> I also sold the backpacks let me see let me see this time 2019 I was loading uh women's foam posit glitter 40 bucks from Marshall's big money mo okay let's get out of that one uh let's go back to you know what we'll just go back to to the slideshow okay this is what else we had remember all these Timberlands that were showing up Yep. Uh, what is this? Hustle bin, thrifting together. 80 bucks on the Knicks one. Yeah, I don't think anybody picked those up. Anybody picked these up in the chat? This is two years ago. My Not bad. for 80, you know? <laughs> uh, this one was 50, I believe. Like the various teams, NBA teams out there. Next. Look at all the Jordan, North Carolina jerseys. Electric oh. Relish. Uh, old B eighty eight oh seven. Man, little did they know that everything will be UNC this year, <laughs> right? right? UNC one, UNC four. Um, uh, Forty bucks for the jerseys. Hey, did you keep one? Yeah, I did keep one. We found them at the outlet though, but we didn't yeah. find as many as this. This was no uh, only people from NYC keeping the Tims. There you go, sold one fifty track star. I made a ton off of those last dance hustle crow. Oh, oh! Imagine uh, perfect timing. Next, remember these? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but a lot of people found them in a tiny size, though. Did they? I thought they were like all out there. See, smooth sailing says size ten. Oh, that was good money right there. Hustle bin and TBS marketplace. So they were one hundred dollars mm -hmm. at Ross at the time. Uh, I had 30 Hustle Crow. Crazy on the UNC finds too legit. Did anybody pay the full hundred bucks for them? And did they flip them on these? Mm -hmm. Polo Olympic team boots. Let me see what they're doing now. Kind of curious. Polo. Let's see. Boots. 
Uh, five did sell recently, or five on the solds. Two twenty two, two eighty nine. A size ten sold for three hundred. Man, they probably right. took it to the Tokyo Olympics. That's what it was. And right now, there's only man. There's like less than thirteen listed. What we're talking about? That's a long. That's two year hold. For to a what? random boot. To triple your money? Double? I mean, a two, 220? Right. Not bad. This I'll is way back it. Wednesday. I'll uh, hold one for it. Remember this one? Oh, that one's money now. That's uh, Chinese New Year, right? Yeah, let me see. Who picked up this one? How much were they? Good question. Too blurry, I can't even tell. Looks like the name's uh, Mr. Jalapeno. I think they're like 79 or something like that. Martino finds A7 resells. Flip the script. All found these. Right now, brand new. The lowest is 349 <laughs> on eBay. Yeah. Solds? None. Uh, there were 60 bucks, says Hustle and Muscle. Yeah, Ross fell, ho- fell off hard 2021. <laughs> for real. I picked up the black and red colorway of these, sold for 300 miles. Mm-hmm. Easy said they were $79. Uh, let me see next. This is when Burlington had Nike items. Still kicking sports. <laughs> uh, the go- the tour premieres. Which ones? Uh, oh, got- those ones. React Vapor. Uh, Bolo Every Day. More oh, of the Vapor Max. The 70s, man. I wanted to find one of those so bad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Camo. Mm-hmm. DB. And uh, Vapor Max. More Vapor Max. Those 95... 95- Camo, digital camo. Remember those? Everybody was yeah, just knocking those. Nobody picked them up. We're like laughing at it now. Like you'd probably be jumping all over. <laughs> <laughs> what was that one called? Digi Camo Blue. Something like that. I thought it had a different name to it. Oh really? Yeah. Um, I forgot what the actual name was. Here we go. I found the style code. Yeah, Let's Hustle and Muscle had the DB. Yeah, that one was money. Should have kept them, Zach. <laughs> right now there's 53 results on those uh, Air Max 95 what's the solds like there's someone selling for 109 yeah there's no and they, but weren't they like 60 bucks now I believe so I removed this oops oh crap and here we go Oh, somebody had to pay fees. <laughs> oh, this one? Yeah. That's eight. Uh, 129, 101, pre owned. 128, uh, 109. I think that was it. At least from style code only. Mm-hmm. Throw in there. Uh, see, Tor Premier Easy 200 now. It was a uh, Desert Ore. That's what they call them. Mm, okay. I remember racks of those 95s. I passed them all. Lucky on three legs. It was a different time back then. Yeah, and we really don't have... We didn't have the COVID money, too. Oh, yeah. We... Well, not only that, we... There was so many other Vapor Mac and stuff like that. We were we were looking at different items. We were, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this... this Now, this would be the best Burlington find. Back in the day, it was the least Burlington find. <laughs> They kind of pampered us in 2019. Yeah. Not yeah. kind of, they did. It's like it's like they knew 2020 was going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> More Vapor Max. So we have... Oh, man. Those uh, multi-color ones? Yeah. Every, everyone will know. A7 resells, undercover reseller, incognito retail resellman. Um, and I can't read the other names. Flip, man, Corey Flip, I think. And where are those people now? <laughs> well, some of these we recognize, but some, some we don't. 
Uh, so yeah, these man, these are money. Vapormax. Uh, this is the Al Bundy four touchdown stream <laughs> vintage profit. Different world back then. Oh, for sure. 2019 was so good. So that was it. If you wanted to see what was going on back then. Are we happy now? Or is that sad? Well, maybe we'll dream of good things tonight. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Brown Town Finds. I'm still here, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> Brown Town Finds. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I guess, you know, it's a good lesson. It's a good lesson to not flip your items too quick. And instead of flipping the good ones fast, get rid of your dookie first if you need cash flow. But at the same time, <laughs> we weren't going to wait two years for some of these Vapor Max. No. Or 95s. No, or... no but, but, you know, but, but. Because there are moments that, you know, when I look at my inventory, it's like, man, I can't believe I sold my Vapor Max and I still have this RBX. You know what I'm saying? Like, that kind of moments. You mm -hmm. know, like, there's like 200 people picked up those Reebok. Mm -hmm. But, but there's, you know, like, I'd rather hold on to a 95 than have those Reebok in my listings. So. Uh, let me see. Great show the other day with Jake and Koo Kicks. Appreciate that. William Perry. Uh, this is back in my day talk. <laughs> this is James. <laughs> I think it's a good... I don't really see it as like, oh, yeah, things were way better back then. I see it as like, those were great finds to build upon to where you're on or where sure. you are now. I mean, they definitely got us to where we're at, right? Especially, yeah. you know, as far as cash flow and stuff like that. But, you know, like I was just only pointing out that, you know, if if you found 20 of those, Right, and then you sold them fifty dollars less. You missed out on a lot of cash flow. Mm -hmm. um, that could be a lot better now because back in the day, they were not hard to find. You just had, you know, there were very uh, attainable finds. Yeah. Now I can definitely say those are rare. <laughs> 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 you know, you you'd be finally somebody like somebody. You'd be lucky finding them because somebody returned it because they didn't fit them. <laughs> I see a big money mall. I was buying everything 2019 as well. I mean, yeah, there was, I mean, how many times that we also talk about is like you people are leaving nothing behind for the other resellers. Yeah. And if you did that, then I, I would, I mean, there's no regrets. I mean, you did everything you did during that time. The only thing is, we know things change and now here we are yeah. in 2021. Yeah. So I would say hold on to some, you know, hold on to your top 100 items. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there was funds in every store. You just had to drive. Big money. Yeah, no, that's true. Fines. There were fines. Yeah. Uh, let me go back up and see. I think we had some other questions in there. Um, anything else you want to throw in there? Um, dry now. Some more resellers quit, or they moved on. Yeah, they quit, or they moved on to other. Yeah, things. they moved Jake, on. Jake to, mentioned that too. To crypto, you know, cards, cards, NFT stocks. You know, NFT. it's just like, you know, it's just like anything, you know, in any industry, you know, when we talk about like only, you know, roughly 30% make it after three years in business. That's, you know, that's sticking in one industry or that's sticking in your own business. Um, you know, there's definitely high rate of failures because if it was low rate, low rate of failures, we'd be all millionaires. You know? <laughs> so, so, um, and as I mean, it's it's the it's the cycle, right? Because because not anybody, not everybody, will become, you know, financially wealthy at the same time. You know, I think it goes and flows. Somebody makes it high, somebody loses money. Somebody makes it high, somebody loses money. But but yeah, but like I said way way back, we're in here for the long haul, so no rush, no hurry. Uh, Tides will change, seasons will change, inventories will come soon. Uh, let me see. Bat Nate says back when Jake was know it to flip it and the vapor max flowed like honey. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what it was? Uh, that might have been what it was. Um, uh, Steve, what is your guess when things will recover? A year, two years longer. So, um, and Big Money Mo might have also something to say. Uh, as well but as far as i know 
talking with the people at the outlets, things like that. They were saying they may not get better items until next summer. Mm-hmm. Summer 2022. Mm-hmm. And that kind of makes sense as far as the timeline goes for them to get something. As far as, like, you got to remember, too, like, Ross, Burlington, all these, like, they're not going to get anything if the outlet's not even going to get anything. Yeah, they depend like, on the brands, right? They depend on the brands because um, because of the overproduction or the past season items. Yeah. People will return as soon as they see Hustle Hacks page pop in <laughs> Uh, a year at least. There's way less resellers now. William Perry. Uh, don't worry. As soon as they hear the finds are back, the quitters will return and rejoin the bandwagon. Yeah, but they have to start from zero again. That's a bad thing, too. Here's the thing, though. is like if, if you did quit and you're out of touch and then you try to come back in. Oh, yeah. 100%. You're going to be rusty. And you got to. Uh, rusty. For yeah. the dudes that have still been pushing through it. Yeah. I mean, you're just going to be just another thing on the side, not really going to be an issue as far as competition goes, I would think. Mm -hmm. Uh, I agree. I think early 2023, things will get back to 2019 level, says Big Money Mo. Yeah. So you heard it from the man himself. Yeah, there have to be correction. There has to be a point where people stop buying products retail. That's what it is. You know, like, unless we see our Foot Lockers, our Nike stores, our the first layer of distribution fully stopped and running sales, right? Because they don't have room for inventory. That's, that's really when, you know, they start selling off older inventories because again, because of the slower production months or the shutdown of factories, there hasn't been really overproduction coupled with people having money. Then, you know, there's really more demand and power to buy than supply. But with, um, you know, stim, uh, STEMI gone and then, you know, unemployment benefits have stopped. Now people got to go back and get their money up again. Uh, Retro says all inventory low at Ross because they're doing inventory for September. Ross will be better mid-October. And... One thing to keep in mind too, like I said, like I know some people were saying on here, they have low listings, they haven't been adding as much as they normally do. Keep in mind, Nike Outlet, you've seen the empty racks, you've seen them trying to fill it in with clothing, you've seen trying to fill it in with backpacks. Like I told you before, Nike doesn't want to do that. Like you think they want to fill stores that they're paying high rent on yeah. with trash products or empty racks? Like yeah. That's costing them that. money. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's costing them money to have that. Like, mm-hmm. so they want their stores running at 100%, just like we would want ours and or Ross or Burlington or any of those to get some of those items. It's not there right now. Yeah. I mean, also, um, Big Money Mo uh, brings up a good point. That means there'll be tough times selling items for us, too. Mm-hmm. You know, because there were times that when there's oversupply, there's, you know, that means there's less demand. When there's a lot more products out there now there's more competition right um you know we were at one point everybody had vapor max everybody had tiger woods you know uh golf shoes and then when it was supposed to be 200 bucks clowns were selling them for 100 you yeah. know so because there's oversupply um so that's really the other you know the other side of the spectrum uh as far as economy would go so um i would say you know i agree with glenn no regrets take the good and you know kind of like anticipate for the bad when our sales slow down now what are we gonna do right one day we're gonna have a lot of inventory and there's gonna be less demand <laughs> so we're gonna be out here oh ebay sales slow but we have a ton of inventory <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let me see. Intramorph, I can't believe Nike is opening a new store near me uh, despite their struggles in stock right now. And then Steve says Nike in, in D.C. closed down. Mm-hmm. Uh, Trackstar, my clearance store in Queens, took down three rows of men's shoes because mm-hmm. of the shortage. Um, let me see. Kid Stimmy still coming in until December. I asked uh, one of the workers I usually talk to, 
I was like, what is what is Nike gonna do for Black Friday? And they're like, they haven't told us anything yet. And I'm like, that's already like two and a half months away. Usually they know something by yeah, now. They're, they're gonna be like, they're gonna be like, um, everybody go celebrate Thanksgiving. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> up, down. All right. Don't buy all of our inventory. We don't know if we're getting any more. <laughs> Imagine if Black Friday, I don't even see them running a, a great sale. I mean, they, they're holding on. They're they're just like holding on to this inventory. Yeah, whatever they have. I don't see it happening. But I'm curious to see once that rolls around. Yep. Uh, stock up when inventory comes back. We all know, we don't know what's going to happen with the, well, we can't say that word. Mm-hmm. That thing. It's not clear cut. You have to be a step ahead of the market. I will dump everything this Q4, then cruise till start filling up. Yep. I think that's a good plan. Uh, Sell as much as we can this Q4. Uh, Everything gets priced up 30%. 30% off backpacks. (laughs) (laughs) They'll be closed. Uh, the thrill of the hunt makes me happy. Reselling was icing on the cake, and I enjoy every facet of this business because I don't see this as work. And I enjoy networking and like-minded people. There you go, to legit. I like that. Um, I'm with Mo, A-N. Nothing going on sale at Nike for the rest of this year. That's my guess, Koo Kicks. Man, Koo Kicks, brutal. Give us some hope, bro. <laughs> He's just telling it like it is. No more sales. No MVPs. I mean, they haven't done it. Friends and family. <laughs> we ain't friends. We ain't no family anymore. Uh, they just gave their corporate offices one week off for mental health awareness. They are not hurting, says Hype Beast Poppy. Oh. I remember that too. Yeah. Uh, let me it's see. Either that or their offices had a COVID breakout. That's what the, it we. Oh, oh. Yeah. That's a second. That's a second. You know what? YouTube's oh. gonna come down hard and be like. Oh. They're gonna have that big warning on there. Yeah, also be giving misinformation. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shelves way too empty. I uh, went to three Nike outlets in Iowa, found a bunch of junk, bunch of monarchs and PGs everywhere. <laughs> There's one shoe Nike can't sell. We have a bunch of PGs still. <laughs> big money, well. Uh, mid. Resellers already out of business. <laughs> I've definitely been hitting Play-Dohs more lately. Bovid says <laughs> vintage profit. <laughs> hey, all I know is next year I can eat. I just have to keep <laughs> a meal every week from Glenn. Let me see. Buying free returns, uh, uh, free runs for Amazon at the outlet. Uh, <laughs> yeah. This is big money, Mo. Let me see. Korean barbecue fun cleared to zero. <laughs> uh, Hustle B face is going to be blurred out like on cops if he says it one more time. <laughs> yeah. Says <I> can. <laughs> Ken is messing up the bag. <laughs> uh, PG's hit Ross for 60. Uh, what if you're stuck in an island and PG's were the only shoes available? I walk bare feet. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're down to. <laughs> Uh, any comments, anything you want to throw in about dry season, about where you're sourcing? How you know? Here's a question for the chat. How comfortable do you feel out of 10, rated out of 10, in your business going into the next four months? Hmm. How comfortable? What's your rating? You know, this could be one out of 10. You're on panic mode. You don't know. You might have to get a job. Number four, you know, going four, you're almost there midway as in like, you know what? I'm hanging around. I'll survive. I'll make it mm-hmm. eight, nine out of 10. You're fully, you don't even have stuff listed because you're just waiting. You're, you're, you're packed with inventory. Yeah. I, I would say, cause you use the word comfortable, right? Okay. That's really, that's really the world, the word that we really don't want to be at. Okay, okay, sorry. Because you use that, so okay. I'm 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 comfortable. Okay, but comfortable. I don't want to be comfortable. Okay. Right? But but if we're just talking about sitting on the couch, watching Netflix. Watching football. Ship, watching football, ship some stuff, 100% comfortable, right? <laughs> um, uh, 
G class coming 2020. <laughs> yes, sir. G wagon, baby. <laughs> um, but okay. So, what but, word would you use? B is gonna rephrase that question. No, that that's good because you you said it right because we can't really put ourselves in a growing phase right now, mm-hmm. right? Uh, because of the uh lack of supply, so. I would say the only thing, right? Like, let's just talk about struggle. The only thing that I'm struggling right now is because that, because of, you know, we we came out of the quarantine and the lockdowns and stuff like that. So we were already like isolated. We're not able to like do as much as we were able to do in the prior years. And it's just kind of like, it's kind of like, we know that 2021 wasn't going to be like a full open door, like, you know, like everybody wanted it to be, you know, because there's going to be some restrictions still, you know, we're still going to be dealing with other things. And I think it's just that kind of like, I have, I always catch myself like feeling bored or feeling like I'm not doing enough. So because we're not used to what we're doing before, right? So, so now I, I have to actively kind of like talk myself into doing something productive that might not have but i have probably haven't considered it productive before mm-hmm. um i would even say like more of like you know organizing uh inventory checks now we have more time right more than ever now the question is what are we using this time wisely on hmm. very good point there let me read some of the numbers to you sa9 yeah. Mercurial Venom, 11 out of 10. Dapper Fanatic, 8.5. Uh, 8 out of 10. Josh Brown, 8.5. AK Rowdy, 9. Trackstar. Trey, 10. And Palma, 7. Big Money Mo, I feel comfortable because I'll make all the money back I've been putting in. Mm-hmm. Um, 8 out of 10. Like in three legs, 7. Infinite Wealth, but I still work full time. So there we go. Mm-hmm. Uh, Coach Steve, 6. Astro Drip, 8 out of 10 to survive. 5 out of 10 to grow the inventory. Mm. Realistic. I would yeah. say 10 out of 10, one kick finder zero. Since I got a nine to five coup kicks, uh, nine, I got death piles. Well, death piles. I mean, you have inventory. So yeah. right. Nick Abnet six, 9.5 William Perry. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me see. Seven BKK eight, Brian. Uh, let me see. Brown Town finds nine AN ten out of ten. I've been holding things since last year. So there we go. I have goals ten out of ten. Double jump. Um, if you don't want to wait two hours in lines after lockdown, don't cry now. Big money mo. Yeah. Yeah, hey, that was that was wild, huh? That we had to wait to get into stores. Yeah. That was that was another Twilight Zone that that will always gonna be remembered, right? Like. Like well, when the stores were closed, I mean. Right. And then, like, you just didn't know which ones were open, right? Because, like, Google won't tell you which ones open the right time. Some open 12, some open early, some open close at 6 or 7, <laughs> you know? And then, yeah, it's it's, it's definitely it. One of the things that I actually, uh, you know, actionable steps that you guys can do is, you know, delete all your GOAT listing and your StockX listing and relist it again um with a true inventory count um it is something that we've done um which is kind of like exciting and refreshing to do again that that you know you actually get to know your inventory again oh so that was that was and cool. you bumped up the prices while you were there yeah 100 <laughs> percent. yeah yeah because now you're looking at you know research checking comps and stuff like that and you know there are some shoes that that you have sizes on that that goat doesn't have all right let me see anything else uh you want to uh, throw in before we go in the chat tomorrow i believe it's a jordan 12 video i think i gotta double check sadly thrift stores have ross pricing nowadays the brown town finds that'd be impossible for me to uh, i'm 2000 plus listing on goat big money mo uh stock x what is that diaper fanatic I went hard when they reopened last year to legit. All right. Well, it was good. 
Good discussion at the very end of the live. We're going to see what happens next week. Let's see how the week goes uh, for sourcing the rest of this week, early next week. And keep tagging me on stuff. That's all we can also do. I'm going to see what you're finding out there. Ross, Burlington, Marshalls, anything. Um, do you have a yellow toe question mid? No. All question mid. Damn, 2K listings? Wow, two kicks. Um, let me see. All right, we are done. Tomorrow's video, I think Jordan 12s. Look out for that. Friday, I don't know. Burlington, Marshall. I don't know. Marshalls would be rough. Hey, Glenn, you should no. just videotape the line. Just keep filming the line. <laughs> <laughs> it just goes in a loop. Yeah. Just do that. All right, we'll see you guys. Appreciate you guys being here. Hit that like button, like Big Group Brand said, and uh, go ahead and get it. See ya.